Hello there guys, it's me in Stable Voltage and welcome to a brand new series of Civilization V Brave New World. Uh, originally I was going to take a little bit of a break from Civilization after winning my last game, but I decided I had so much fun by the end of it that I just wanted to get straight in and do another game. So what I've actually done here, I've got exactly the same settings as I had on the previous game. Uh, we are playing on a standard map on a mortal difficulty on epic size. The one change I have made is I have switched from a Pangea map to a fractal map because I do prefer fractal. I know there are certain disadvantages to doing that at high difficulty level. Mainly the fact that you can get an isolated start, which makes it difficult to find the other AI, which means you don't get the research uh, bonus as quickly as you could if you were doing it on something like a Pangea. Uh, also, we've got the um, Korean DLC disabled because uh, Korea doesn't play nicely with others. And I am playing as Rome, because they were so much of a pain in the arse in the last game, I thought that I would play as them in this game. Now, if you haven't played Rome before, and I haven't played as Rome on the channel, but I have played as Rome before, uh, Rome basically have uh, no unique buildings, but they have two unique units. So their first unique unit is the Ballista, which is a replacement for the Catapult. And... Um, Basically, the Ballista, I think, is slightly more ranged combat. Is it plus 10 ranged combat? Um, the Catapult is plus 8. Yeah, so it's a slightly better unit when it comes to that. Uh, has higher ranged combat strength than the Catapult, which it replaces. And that that's basically all it is. Um, still has to set up before firing. The second unique unit is the Legion, which replaces the Swordsman. And basically, it has a higher combat strength than the Swordsman, but additionally, and it isn't actually listed here, um, but what it can actually do is a Legion can also build roads and they can build forts, providing you've got the technology unlocked to do that. And there is an achievement for building a road with a Legion, one I don't think I've ever managed to get. So two unique units, no unique buildings. Um, they do have uh, their unique ability, which is actually quite nice. It's nice and simple. 25% production towards any building that already exists in the capital. So, in other words, if you build a building in the capital first, and then you try and build it anywhere else, you get 25% bonus production towards it. So it, it just builds more quickly. Now, I thought when I first started, I thought I'll re-roll a couple of times until I get a decent starting location. And this was the very, very first roll. And I looked at this and I thought, wow, this is actually quite good. We're on a river. We've got some wheat. Admittedly, it's plains wheat, but we've got some wheat, we've got deer, we've got stone nearby. We're next to a mountain, we've got two sources of ivory, we've got a source of silver. There's a couple of floodplains here. We're fairly close to the water. I thought, this actually seems like a really good spot. So this is exactly where we're going to start. So let's start by moving our unit around. We're quite near the coast in this direction. I could move a couple of tiles over and get something coastal, but I think starting here next to the mountain on the river could be quite good. It would be nice to grab all of these things. If we went over here, for example, we could still get most of the stuff. It would be within range, but it would take longer to get it. We would be next to a mountain. We'd still be able to get the wheat, but settling here seems like a really good option because we're on a hill. And we'll instantly have access to the wheat, which we can start working straight the way. So that is what we're going to do. Really, really good tile there. So we need to choose our production, and we'll do the usual thing. We will start with a um, scout, and then go into the monument. As for our research, well, what have we got nearby? We have some ivory, so we're going to need trapping. We've also got deer. So let us start thinking about, well, we definitely want to work towards um, writing because we do need to get our library. But being able to get trapping is also quite important as well. We've also, of course, got silver. Now, the silver is on a hill. Now, where are we actually going to expand to? We are going to expand to there next in 20 turns. So that might be a good tile for us to actually get because it'll be a very good production-based tile. So it's going to be a little while before we get a worker out anyway that we can do anything with. So we might actually want to go into mining. So let's start off with mining. And then we'll go um, pottery into writing. 
and then possibly into trapping. Of course, we might find some ruins along the way, which might speed things up a little bit. So we're going to start bringing these guys back down in this direction now. Okay, so we, we do have a very, very coastal start down here. We might be able to... I don't think we can squeeze a city in on this coast, which is a bit of a shame. We'll definitely try and get some coastal cities in this game. There's another wheat, which is within range of the city. That's quite nice. A lot of hills around. It does slow down our movement, but it does um, give us a lot more production in the capital. Which could be really good. No ruins yet. Of course, this is a fractal map, so we could just be completely isolated here. We have discovered our first ruin. We've got salt over there as well. On to the next turn. So, what do we get? We find out where a barbarian encampment is. Wonderful. Not exactly the most useful thing that you can get with your first ruin. Okay, so it definitely looks like a bit of an island. We do have a scout now. So we're going to use him to do the scouting. We're working on that monument. So you guys come over in this direction. We'll still go up here anyway, see what we can find. Let's put you on the hill. There we go. We have another ruin. It's quite near a barbarian encampment, but we can grab that. We've got bison. We've got sheep. We've got ivory. Free technology. Oh, brilliant. It gives me mining. The one that I already had only five turns left to get. Why couldn't it have given me pottery or something else? Like really annoying when it does that, but oh well. We'll use this guy to explore down here towards the southeast. Not a huge number of um, production tile, uh, well, um, resource tiles around here, but certainly enough to get um, get some other cities found. What have we got here? We've got Strapada, quite nice. A lot of ivory, and we have found another ruin. Rome has grown in size. So, right, let's get this right. I always forget to do this. Produ put it on production focus, but again, we want the food because we want to grow. So we now have an extra hammer. Uh, that is all of our turn. No, nope. we need to get you down onto here. And what have we got? We've got some um, free culture. That is fantastic. So we can go ahead and tradition opener. Because to be honest, why would you take anything else? And let's go on to the next turn. And obviously, you're just going to jump across the river because you are a scout. It makes it nice and easy for you. You can grab this one. 60 gold. Always nice. More bison. Uh, we've got some wine up here as well. That should last of your movement because that was a hill. We have found Genghis. Wonderful. <laughs> Not too sure whereabouts he is, but... I'm always destined to find aggressive civilizations on this game. So he's down here somewhere. It looks like he's already had a little bit of an encounter with the barbarians. And he's got some more units there as well. He's actually got some gold over here. We don't want the embassy yet. He doesn't know where we are. He, he most likely will find us though. Borders of Rome have grown. We've moved on to the silver now. We found Kabul. Very good. I suppose the Mongols will be attacking them nice and early. So, can we find any more ruins before the Mongols grab them? It's probably unlikely. We are going to need to try and get a worker as soon as possible. Got more wine up here. A little bit far away from our capital, but certainly does seem like a good location for additional cities. Okay, let's just keep having a look around with you. Okay, there is Mongolia. I wonder if that is their capital. It may well be. Let's keep moving this way. It is possible that they have missed a ruin or two. So, do I want to instantly go for a settler? Getting something coastal up near the salt might actually be a really good idea. We do want to build more cities. We definitely want coastal cities. At the same time, we don't want to have anything that's too far away and too hard to defend. Getting Srapada could be quite nice. Maybe we can move up here. That's a long way for a settler to go. To go. Um, we're probably going to need to get a worker out, though, nice and quickly. 
does take a little bit of time for a worker, but let's get started on one anyway. Uh, on to the next turn. So let us just head south a little bit, just in case there are any ruins here. A lot of wine. Looks like we might have to um, pick on the Mongols a little bit here. That is Karakorum, so that is their capital. Uh, I'll bring these guys back down towards the south. I doubt there's anything down here that's been missed, but you never know. Going to uncover as much of our little starting island as we can. So we'll cut around the outskirts of the city-state. Now this seems... I don't know whether this is going to be a continuation of land. Obviously there's a little gap there. Borders of Rome have grown. We found another ruins. So I should be able to grab that as well. Got some barbarians there, which is going to be problematic. Obviously, we don't want to try and take on these barbarians with our scout. So we might just go around the long way, because it'll be safer. Oh, population grew and I forgot to reassign it. Oh, no, population hasn't grown. May adopt a policy. That was nice and quick. I think we go straight into oligarchy. Get that as soon as possible. And we'll go the long way around here. See, Karakorum, I think that they start with a worker, which is hardly surprising. And what do we have here? We have ourselves some faith. That is definitely a dead end. So there's no point going over there. We've discovered pottery. Let's just move you up here. We can found a pantheon now. We didn't do very well with our religion last time. I mean, we got a religion, but we weren't really able to use it. So... What do we want to do? Shrines we're probably not going to bother about. I think we want something that's going to benefit us in the early game more than the late game, as it's hard to guarantee actually being able to have a religion that lasts. Although it might be slightly easier, given the fact that this is a fractal map and we've probably got a slightly more isolated start. Pastures we're not really going to have many. We're going to have quite a few camps. Because we've got double ivory. We've got deer here and there's plenty of other ivory and the sheep and there's bison i think we need to go for something there's definitely one with camps and i'm trying to remember what it is now that's pastures goddess of the hunt plus one food from camps that could be very very useful here anything else that could be more useful plantations no Culture and faith from each gold and silver. Well, we're not really going to have many. Jungle tiles. Nope, none of those. Quarries. Not really all that much. I still think the best one for us is camps. So I'm going to go for that one. That'll give us some extra food, which will give us some extra growth once we can start with that. So we want you to go the long way around. There is a, that barbarian camp there, so we will have to be careful how we squeeze past it. Right, they've moved over that. So we could, we maybe even can uh, go and kill those guys on the next turn if we're really careful. Yep, so this piece of land is segregated. I'm going to try and bring these guys back so we can use them to escort the settler. I can actually kill that unit off. That's really good. That'll give us a lot of... Um, we'll take some damage, but we'll get a lot of bonus with the city-state for doing that. And it is a cultural city-state as well. And um, well, we can't move out of there, so they might be a little bit upset. These guys are going to have gold as well, which will be really nice for us. They might be a little bit annoyed that we're cutting through their territory, but that's fine. So do they like us? Not much. They'll like us more once we clear the barbarian camp, but obviously we can't do that just yet. Nothing more down here, so we need to sort of get, get back out of there a little bit more safely. And you guys are just going to try and work your way back around. You can check the north side of Karakorum. I think we've just about um, uncovered this entire island now. I'm betting you probably can't defeat those, can you? Oh, so close. They've got 33 hit points. We wouldn't quite finish them off. That's a shame. If we could have finished them off, 
we could have cleared that camp. That is a shame. Oh well, we'll continue to look around here. Looks like he's going to have some marble. He's got a couple of farms going already. He might well be an early target for us. And those guys are pretty dead. So unfortunately that's the camp cleared. Now we are going to have to get to a point where we are prepared to defend against Mongolia. He is going to be an issue. Because that's what he does. I covet your lands, Genghis. Coming for you. Uh, what unit did he actually have down there right, as well? Didn't see what it was. Maybe we can clear this one. We haven't got a mission for it, but getting it out of the way could still be useful. You're the wrong unit selected. Thank you. want this unit. Yeah, I think we've uncovered most of what there is to uncover on this island. So we need to get um, embarkation pretty quickly. We are now, um, we have grown, but we are stagnating because obviously you've gone straight into production focus. Um, is there another decent food tile? Not unless we want to spend money and just grab a floodplains tile, which we probably do want to. We're going to grow to the wheat tile in four turns. We can swap to that. We'll grab this one for now. We'll work this tile. And then in four turns when we've grown to this tile, we'll actually work that one instead. Because we're going to, going to expand there anyway. This camp has been cleared as well. Wow, he's really getting aggressive with those barbarian camps. At least it makes it easier for me to go and settle another city. Bringing this guy home so that he can provide some protection to the settler. Choose production. Well... We only have three citizens. We'd normally want to wait until we were at um, four. I think we might have the opposite problem here. Too much production and not enough food. Two, two, and two. Well, we can't really do much better than that. We do have a worker. Um, 24 turns until we grow, which is pretty bad. 18 turns for a settler, which is also pretty bad. Let us start by getting a shrine. No, let us start by us getting a granary. Then we'll start thinking about the shrine. In the meantime, we'll just do a little bit more exploration. And of course we have our worker, so where do we start? Well, I guess the first thing we should do is a farm on the wheat. Which is going to take ten turns. Again, I keep thinking a lot of the stuff here is going to take a long time. And then I stop and remember that it's on epic pace, so everything does take quite a while. So you guys can go and have a look up here, I guess, make sure this corner of the map is nice and safe. And we shall start getting some cities out over here while we can. Oh, we've found a city-state, actually. There's Yerevan. Which does make it a little bit harder settling a city up here. But there's definitely a few nice places we can grab. I'm almost te tempted to grab something up here. The problem with this being, of course, that um, it's quite far away from our capital. But I think we could live with that. I hate when it doesn't select the right unit. You guys go and look over there. And we have a barbarian camp that we can probably clear and get some... Kudos with Yerevan. They're all going to attack us because we're right next to them, but that's fine. No, we don't need embassy from you yet. Yeah, they are going to attack. That was expected. But we can do a lot more damage back to them. See, this could be a good spot. Because it's next to a mountain. It's going to have at least one source of fish. It would have two ivory. Uh, one, two, three. It would have bison. One, two, three. It would have two bison. It would have wine. Slightly out of range of the wheat. And we could also get another city here in the middle somewhere. Because we've got more camps. We've got the um, oasis. We've got wheat. We've got sheep. So we might end up with a city up here, a coastal one, a city down here in the middle somewhere. We will want to grab this salt at some point, but it's only a single salt. And there is a barbarian camp, wouldn't you know it? Let's go and sit up here on the hill. 
I should be able to come down here and clear that camp out. May adopt a new policy. Fantastic. Let us go for legalism. That means we'll get a monument when we set up our second city. Should be able to clear this camp out nice and easily. Fantastic. There's 37 gold. Always nice to have. You guys, I think, can just sit there for a while. Nothing else for you to explore, really. On to the next turn. We're not actually making any gold at the moment, either. Unit promotion. Well, we do have a lot of rough terrain here. There's also a lot of open land, so it's pretty difficult to know which one to take. But around Karakorum, it's mostly open land, so I think we are going to go for shock. And then we're going to bring you back down. We need to heal you up, actually, but we're going to bring you back down to try and deal with these guys here. I think you can just um, stay on 45 for now. Hopefully, if he shoots at anyone, it'll be at the Mongol uh, scout, who is moving away. Oh, would you look at that? We have the smallest army already. Hardly a surprise. Definitely need to remember to build units. Remember what happened the last time that we played. Got my ass handed to me quite quickly by the AI because I didn't um, defend against his attack. So, got time for a turn or two more. And we'll get you down here and then I think we will heal you up for a turn or two. So let's get you to heal. Now we're still working on this granary. There's only three turns left. You have finished the farm, which is fantastic. We're going to have another wheat farm there as well. Now we are going to have happiness issues when we set up our next, um, our next city. So I think what we'll do is we'll go over here and we'll start work on the silver mine. That'll give us some bonus production. And it'll also allow us to get the silver, which will solve some of our happiness issues. Expanded to a fairly useless tile there, but that is fine. These guys are still healing up. So I think that is probably a good point to end the video. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are enjoying this new series of Civilization V. And I'll see you next time. Until then, goodbye for now.